Well, we all know it is so important to instill a love of reading at an early age. And this morning, we have some great books that your kids will not want to put down. Good Housekeeping is out with their 2024 Kids Book Awards. And this morning, we are highlighting some of the winners. Lexi Sachs is the executive director of the Good Housekeeping Institute. Lexi, good morning Good morning. Thank you for having me. We've got this amazing setup. So yeah. we hear that over 150 kids were actually yes. involved in testing, reading, reviewing these books. So what was the favorite when it came to family books? babies. So starting with the babies, we have Tummy Time Farm. And what's okay. great about this, it's a vibrant farm animal book, but it unfolds into a tummy time I toy, love. which is okay. so like great. They can lay on their little tummies and exactly. see all the pictures. Cute. So good. There's a little mirror. There's oh, a mirror cool. at oh, the end. Oh, this is sky. Yes. yes yeah. we oh, that's why that. I'm doing this segment. You can see baby <laughs> Marcus. Pictures. Oh. Yeah, it's like baby Marcus showing us how it works oh, in real life. Oh, it's I so love that. Cute. Oh, Marcus. You know what? I saved my board book like this just because I remember the stage and it goes back. Yes. So oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. So your next pick is a great one to read out loud. We're going to turn the little set here. This is for our younger ones what we learn from it's called the littlest yak yes okay <laughs> so we are it's coming yes and you know what all of okay, books I see. are brand new this year so if you've got a kid on your gift list it's unlikely that they have that they, well already. so that's so, another thing these are some yeah, new ones exactly okay. new. so this is the littlest yak home is where the herd is this oh. one is a <laughs> rhyming book so it's really fun to read out loud it has that nice cadence it's about a family of yaks that have to move <laughs> because they have to go to a colder climate. And little Gertie, she packs up everything on her sled because oh. she's so scared to leave anything behind. And she realizes her baby sister has fallen off the sled. And in her oh, moment Lord. of oh, panic, God. she thinks... She realizes that it's not so much about your belongings. It's really those that you love Aww. that matter most to you. It's a really sweet story. I love right. that. Spin okay. it. Shall we spin it again? Home is where the yak is. That's oh, right. Home is where the herd is. Yep, That's it's really cute. very cute. Okay. okay, what is this next one here? Okay, the man who didn't like animals. So believe what? it or not, this is the origin story of Old MacDonald and how he came to have his oh, farm. Wow, oh, that's This origin. is story. such a cute book. It's good for the kids who really like silly stories. My six-year-old is loving this. We're reading it over and over again. And it's basically about this man who lives in an apartment he likes everything tidy he <laughs> swears he doesn't like animals and the animal starts showing up and he realizes that each one he enjoys being around and maybe this one's not so bad but i don't like animals still and eventually obviously he starts to love these uh, animals and then eventually so he's old mcdonald exactly e -I -E -I -O. Oh, my goodness. Oh, all right spin in here we go next okay. book picture book imaginative pictures this is good for what lessons of friendship yes this is built to last it's about these young kids who become friends because they love to build together and as they grow up they have these wild imaginations about the things that they can build. The illustrations here are amazing, but mm -hmm. their buildings never seem to last. They always fall down and they're really frustrated, but then they realize as they get older, wow. the one thing they built to last was their friendship. It's a really sweet story. Amazing images. Oh, here. Okay. Sweet story. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Beautiful so let's drawings. say you have some little kids. Let's spin the wheel again here. <laughs> Um, mine are past tummy time, so yes. what are we doing now for some of the older kids? So, Gamerville, this is a graphic novel, so the inside uh, yeah. actually looks like a comic book, Ooh, and okay. this is kids a really fun, yes, yeah. yeah. this is a really fun story, it's graphic about a boy novel. named Max, he is gaming obsessed, he's not really <laughs> living a healthy lifestyle, and he makes it into this championship, but his parents actually send him to a sleepaway camp, it's supposed to be really fun, and he starts to treat this sleepaway camp like it's one of his games, and he strategizes his escape plan, and in doing so, <laughs> So he really immerses himself into the experience. So it's a really nice story. What we love about it is it's not really making it about electronics for screen-free yeah. life, but it's about that balance, balance. of having real-life human interaction, but also embracing technology and modernizing. Lexi, so. this is perfect in time for the holidays. <laughs> Books make great gifts. Yes. We love to get kids reading. Thank you so much, Lexi. Thank you. Lexi. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.